CompTIA ITF plus complete training course. Exam Objective 5.3 Summarize methods used to interface with databases. Database Import and Export The topic of database import and export is quite easy to grasp. When you want to get data into a database, the process is known as a database import. And when you want to get data out of a database, like creating a backup copy of the database, this is an export. Sure, that sounds easy enough, but the trick is in the doing. Now, let's discuss a common method used to get data into and out of a database. Imagine you have information in a flat file database, like a spreadsheet, and you want to bring it into your database. One common way to do this is by using CSV files. A CSV, or comma-separated values file, is a simple and widely used file format for storing structured data. A CSV file is often used for data exchange between different software applications, including databases, and is easy for both humans and computers to read. So how does a CSV file work? CSV files are organized in a tabular structure, similar to a spreadsheet. Data is divided into rows and columns. Each row represents a single record or entry, and each column represents a field or attribute of that record. The name comma-separated values implies that commas are used to separate values in the file. However, other delimiters like semicolons or tabs can also be used depending on the specific application. These delimiters determine how data is separated within each row. CSV files often include a header row at the top, which contains the names of the columns. These headers provide context for the data in each column, making it easier for users to understand the contents. In our example CSV file, the columns are listed in the header row at the top and are labeled first name, last name, and age. Each subsequent row is a table record. So here in this CSV file, we have three records. And just as easy as it was to take a table and convert it to a CSV file, we can convert the CSV file back into a table structure. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.